No better way to get started with the four-year-old season, Harley getting a winner on the first day. This horse here, dying for money in Balnaboola. He was impressive too, wasn't he? Yeah, no, definitely no better way there. Um, yeah, no, he was very impressive. He was very professional about his job, a very smart horse. He jumped and he travelled and he quickened nicely into the straight and kept up a nice gallop to hold up straight. Um, Fly the yeah, local track, it's only two miles over the road from here as well, so it's great to get in the local as well. Tell us a little bit about this, lads. Where did you get him from? We got him in the May sale, um, and look, he's, he's done everything well the whole year, and he's just been a very straightforward horse and jumps well and everything, so yeah. They need to be fairly straightforward um, to be able to run them so early, don't they? They do, they do. It takes a very certain type of horse. They have to handle train, they have to have a clear run, they can't have any injuries or setbacks or anything. And they need to be good, solid horse to eat well and a hardy, tough horse. And, and have to have ability too to, to carry him through to that, you know. So, yeah. Was that always the plan to make the running on Sunday? No, it wasn't. Um, we kind of had talks obviously beforehand first four all year you have a good chat with the lads inside and that and um the plan was myself and barry had said everyone else had said they wanted to follow so myself and barry said sure we'll tip along up sides and it was just the way he was traveling and jumping he was just so quick through the air and everything i just ended up in front there for most of the way and that was kind of the plan there then and he'll go on to us onto the cheltenham sale um two weeks time yeah he goes cheltenham sale in two weeks time yeah, yeah. and what would you be expecting for that just Obviously that he doesn't come home with you anyway, yeah, but yeah, there should be plenty so. of interest in him, shouldn't there? There should be plenty of interest in him, yeah, he's a lovely horse, um, 16-1, good walker, very correct, nice model. Um, so yeah, look, um, I'm sure he'll be sensibly reserved, and sure he'll bought, he was bought sensibly priced, so he'll be sensibly reserved, and sure we'll, hopefully he sells well and he, he goes on to the next connections and goes well. Uh, you've, I see on entries you have two four year old, three entries for the weekend, two four year olds, a spider flight and a beat hollow. Are uh, they fancy this weekend or will they run? Yeah, they'll run. Um, two four year olds, yeah. Um, the spider flight's a lovely horse, very straightforward horse, jumps very well, fit, knows his job, so look, I'm, hoping, I'm looking for a big run from him. And uh, the beat hollow horse, I think he's very, very good. Um, I find it very hard to see him being beat, to be honest. Take a very good one to beat him anyway, I tell you that much. Go on, give us his name then, Harley. Yeah, his name is Kabushka. Okay. You ride him yourself? Uh, well, yeah, it's kind of the plan at the minute, so we'll see. Um, Tiernan actually has an appeal there now in a few minutes' time. Um, so yeah, he might be suspended Saturday, so it mightn't be an option for him. But uh, if he if he wins his appeal, there could be a bit of discussion later on in the week. But Tiernan, Tiernan was uh, thinking that you were going to retire this season, but after Sunday, that mightn't happen for a while. <laughs> I kind of had said to him that I was going to retire if I um, brought a winner in my own colours and I'm one of my own horses that I train myself. Um, but the old buzz is still there. <laughs> I'm not going to retire yet anyway. I don't Coach blame you. Letting me. And, but there, there's a big team for him to share between the two of you here. You have 40 four-year-olds. Yeah, a lot of four-year-olds. Probably, probably a few more than 40, but there's there's 40 there. Yeah, and it look like they're going to run this year anyway. Um, all going according to plans. So look... There's plenty of rides for both of us there, and uh, Chris O'Donovan is here morning or a uh, morning a week as well, and sure he rode one of the four rides the weekend, so there'll be rides for him as well. So look, I know there's, there's plenty to go around for everybody. Good. Well, listen, well done at the weekend, and very best of luck this weekend. Thanks very much, Jeff. Cheers.